Okay, um, we voted. Big Dappuccino here. This is show and tell, 151. Okay. I usually go peg hunt on Wednesdays, which is today. But I actually went peg hunting yesterday. Because, according to the weather, uh, well, well, according to the news, we were supposed to get some showers today, but we didn't get anything. We got closer to having showers yesterday, but they kind of ended, I think, something like that. Or oh, it's just cloudy more, and we had more sun today, so I could have went. But I'm glad I did when I, I went when I did, because I probably wouldn't have the stuff I had got then, but... um. Whatever I was trying to say. Uh, yeah, it's been dry in my area. And I'm not going to lie. I've been dealing with some work issues and some uh, household issues and other stuff. Because I commute from where I live in Northern Virginia to Washington, D.C. where I work. And let, let me put it this way. I get up at 530 I'm out the house by 6.20, around there, 6.20 between 6.30. I'm at the subway around 7, by at least before 7 o'clock, probably about 6.45 or 6.50 or something like that, something close to that. And I'm in D.C. by at least 7.20 a.m. in the morning. And... I am a smoker, so I, I usually, well, what I do, I smoke, and then I'll go, you know, I'll waste 15 to 20 minutes, then I'll go in, into work, 7.45, close to 8 o'clock. I got to get my gear and stuff and get ready to work. So, I work in a museum in Washington, D.C., so it gives me time to put on my uniform, you know, get prepped. We do have food there, so I get some breakfast from the cafeteria. And I don't want to hear all that. And then I'll start the day. By the time I get home, it is on a weekday, regular. It's like 6, I want to say close to 6.35. Yeah. 6.30 or 6.45. Close to 7 o'clock. Yeah, I got to eat and all that. I try to do that before 8 o'clock. So, that's how it goes down like five times. Like five days a week. So, I haven't really been in the mood of peg hunting. But, I got some things. Um, I was able to go to Target because I had to go to a giant food store that's nearby but grocery store but they don't have anything no more they might get a shipper like every blue moon but after that's done it's done in my area the only thing that's doing die cat the only retail locations doing die cats on a regular basis is Walmart Target of course, Hobby Lobby. I don't really count AutoZone because they have a real small section, even though they do have them AutoZone exclusives. And lately, we haven't been getting those. So, and every AutoZone store in my area does not carry diecast. So, go figure. Um, we have Michaels, which is a kind of like. Well, it's more craft based on Hobby Lobby, but they they have mainly models, cars that you build, and Hobby Lobby in my area is trying to go towards the same thing. The die cast section is shrinking and shrinking every time I go there. So I'm hoping I have a chance to go there this Friday, but I got some somebody they just dropped the bomb on me. I need to do some household stuff. So that's out. 
I won't be able to go to Dollar Tree or Hobby Lobby this Friday. And I have some business to take care of, so maybe Saturday, I don't know. But enough talking. Um, let's get into what I got at Target. Got this uh, kit Super Pursuit mode from HW Screen Time, and I already have one of these. I have one of these, and I think the premium series that they did for uh, it's not retro entertainment no more. I don't think they, they used to call it that. I I think it's I don't know. It is Kit Super Pursuit mode. And it's in premium though. So I decided to get this one anyway. So I have one in main line and one in premium. Now I have already have a regular kit. I wish it was the prototype night kit or either car. That's what I want. Car is supposed to come in singles. The single car uh main line, but I don't think it's coming through yet. Either mainline or premium, I think, by itself. But it's in the two car series right now, and I, I didn't see it. I didn't see it. We haven't got a lot of the two cars. I think the last ones we got was the Square Buddy trucks. So it's pretty cool. We'll compare it. I like how they make the wheels look more like the way kits look. They're early in main line. Do I have it? I think I have it right here. This is for them. I forgot when this is from. I think this. This is from cause several years before even the pandemic I had this. So that's how the old kit. Reels are wrong. I think I got kit right here. My premium kit. I think it's like it may be like is it a two years old by right now? Not sure. But this is more recent. And it's got the wheels fixed. But it's like this one, so they had these hot ones. I mean I'm sorry, say so say hot ones. I mean, Ultra Hots is a premium set, but they have plastic wheels, but they do have the headlights and taillights done. So I guess they heard us saying, if you're going to do a premium thing, at least do the headlights and taillights. But they did put these designs on the side. I could do without this. I really could. But, um tail lights is done headlights is done and it has plastic wheels so these are probably gonna be good candidates for wheel slots I see a lot of people doing wheel swaps and repaying them like diecast clown <laughs> uh, it's some good candidates for me yeah I forgot what to say what this is this is the uh the Plymouth 71 Plymouth GTX. And this is the Buick Regal GNX. I, this is the first one I picked up. I had to have this. I got the improved casting on it. This is going to be sweet. If somebody know what they're doing, they could turn this into a low rider. Just like this. Just need some low rider wheels. Get rid of these. I mean, the old matchbox wheels. So that's what we got from that. I picked up this Cal Larson uh, NASCAR Authentics. It is the 2022 Wave 1. And. I think we already have one from here. Do I got this one? Yeah. And this one is from 
It's the front of the body on. And this is the Hendrix car piece, but I don't think it is, you know, they said it, it has to be the liquid metallic version in order to be the chase. This is just a regular race version. It does have some damage, so. So I always thought if you pick up the ones that they mentioned, that was the chase piece. But it has to say liquid metal on the uh, packaging. But it's still cool to me. Hendrick Racing, I've been hearing about them for a while. I got, I think, another. I think I might have another Kyle Larson car. And this is a Penzoil, Penzoil uh, 400 winner, Las Vegas, Nevada, from 2021. And like I always say, this is not the real cars. It's supposed to be a. Is this supposed to be a Camaro? I don't know what it's supposed to be. I can't tell. Is that a Toyota? Can't make out the summer. It might be a Honda. Yeah. No, it's it's a Chevrolet. It looks. I did, the bow tie don't look right. And it's the car tomorrow, so they just contour, but um, yeah. They didn't have any green light or any, any, well, all they had was Kings of Crunch and it was on sale. I think Kings of Crunch is regularly the green light Kings of Crunch at Target, $6.99. That's what you, they charge you usually. This was on sale for $4.89 and I would have got two of these, but all they had was Chevy Ford, Chevy Ford. And I was like, this was the most unique one. And I had seen one of these at Hobby Lobby. And I kind of went and got something else. So it's a GMC Sierra Classic Kodiak. It's supposed to be Kodiak. I think that's the name of Kodiak, yeah. Is the name of the monster truck, but it's a 1987 GMC Sierra Classic. Which I had a GMC here. I have other square bodies, so it's one of them. So I joined the square body family. Is that another one? Yeah, they're going another one right here. It's a step side though. This is going to join my Chevy truck, square body truck family, and the Kings of Crunch. This is what you can get. I'm not going to say the same thing. Ford Chevy, Ford Chevy, Ford Chevy. And I have a Bigfoot, too, from here. And I think I have a white Silverado. All white. So... That's cool. Man, it's from 2021. I just wish they would. Because Greenlight has other trucks licensing. They can do Dodge. I got a Dodge Ram right there. Is that Dodge Ram right here in the power wagon? And I think that is. Is that a Nissan? I think that's a Nissan Titan right there beside it so let's they do some other trucks but that's pretty much it for uh show and tell number 51 i just want to thank the subscribers for all your support you no know, views been up and down it does what it does 
Um, yeah, I try to give y'all the best video content I can deliver at the time. Um, like I always say, this is not the best diecast channel. It's not the worst either. Model here is to show a little love for the diecast. I hope you hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notification button, and probably be some feedback behind if you so desire. Until the next time, this is Big Tappuccino signing out. Peace and blessings.